Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Vicent, and today we're tackling an issue that has plagued my Tesla since the day I bought it. about the fact that the Tesla didn't have a wireless charger in the car for a phone. I addressed that using the Nomad wireless charger in a previous video. But that solution raised another problem, and that was that it used both USB ports in the front of the car. So if there was anything else you wanted to plug in, you needed to unplug the wireless charger. A good example of that is Century Mode, whereas only those two can be used for Century Mode. I don't use Century Mode a ton, but when I do use it, unplugging the wireless charger seems like a hassle that is unnecessary. Well, there's a great solution on the market, and that solution comes to you from Jada. Jada created the USB hub for the Tesla Model 3. Essentially, this hub turns your two USB ports in the front into five. Two USB type A and two USB type C ports, plus one hidden port for your all-important sentry mode. And it does so by seamlessly integrating into the back wall of your storage compartment, making it so that you don't even realize it's there. Why don't we take a look at it? As you guys can see here, it uses two USB ports fixed in place that plug directly into the ports in your Tesla. On the front side is where you'll plug in your traditional USB or the wireless charger that I installed, and you still have two USB type C ports for another phone to charge or another device using that port. One more cool feature is this magnetic compartment. It allows you to place your hard drive that you're gonna be storing your dash cam or sentry mode into this compartment and it's not visible, there's not wires around and God forbid somebody breaks into your car, a little more secure, it's not sitting there where they can just drag, grab the hard drive and run. The compartment is sealed behind a little magnetic door. So at first glance, it looks rather flush. However, there is this magnetic door that you can pull off hide your hard drive in there, plug it into this, or use a flash drive, whichever you prefer. It does also come with a magnetic backing, so you can place this or adhere it to your hard drive and it will snap in place and hold in your car. Just a really great solution to maybe a one-off problem, but if you're like me and added a wireless charger to your car, alleviates that. And if you use sentry mode a lot and you constantly have a hard drive or a flash drive plugged into one of your USB ports, you've reduced the amount of USB ports in the front of your car to one, which can produce another problem in charging phones or whatever other things you're going to use in your car. And guys, I'm not being paid to say this or anything along those lines, but this is a great solution for that. And the link in the description below will take you right to Jada's page if you wanna pick one up for yourself. Anyway guys, as I mentioned in the last video, I have my hands on a car. In fact, it is sitting in my garage right now. So in the next couple of days, you'll see a pretty cool video coming out. Uh, and we've got some more lined up. So stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. If you like today's video, please smash the thumbs up button and that little bell icon, click that too. So you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching.